Hello friends. Today we are going to discuss about the important multiple choice questions on margin costing. Let us discuss first question. It says dash is a technique of analysis and presentation of cost rather than an independent method of costing. And here options are marginal costing, contract costing, job costing and direct costing. So see friend, this question asks dash is a technique so we know that marginal costing is a technique of analysis and presentation of cost rather than an independent method of costing like uh, we know that contract costing job costing these are the methods of costing but marginal costing it is a technique of costing so here option a is the right answer next question says dash are classified into fixed cost and variable cost so options are fixed cost marginal cost total cost and adding additional cost so here logically we can give answer that fixed cost and variable cost are classified as uh, a part of total cost right so here option c total cost are classified into fixed cost and variable cost is the right answer right then let us move on the next question and it says marginal costing considers only dash in analysis and options are fixed cost variable cost semi-variable cost and direct cost so we know that marginal costing is also known as variable costing so here option b is the right answer sentence becomes marginal costing considers only variable cost right so your option b is the right answer next question say dash is the difference between sales value and variable cost what is the difference between sales value and variable cost so in the equation of marginal costing we know that when we subtract variable cost from sales we get contribution right so here option d is the right answer see students this question is on the basic marginal costing equation sales minus variable cost gives us contribution and contribution minus fixed cost gives us profit okay so this sentence asks us about the dash is the difference between sales value and variable cost so sales minus variable cost is nothing but the contribution so option d is the right answer next question says marginal costing charges the dash against contributions so as we discussed in previous question that marginal costing charges the fixed cost against contribution it means we subtract fixed cost from contribution in order to get profit or loss so here option a is the right answer next question says which of the following is are the assumptions of marginal costing so students here uh, you must have observed that basically these questions are uh, on the uh, fundamental theoretical concepts related to the marginal costing or uh, we can say these questions are related to the theoretical concepts related to the marginal costing right next question is about the uh, assumptions of marginal costing so here a question says which of the following is are the assumptions of marginal costing now let us discuss one by one first sentence is all cash uh, all costs are divisible into fixed cost and variable cost so we know that in marginal costing we divide cost as fixed cost and variable cost so it is assumption that all cost can be uh, divided as fixed cost and variable cost so first statement is true or assumption of marginal costing second says selling price and variable cost per unit will remain the same so this sentence is selling price and variable cost per unit will remain same so we assume that selling price per unit and variable cost per unit will remain the same so this is also assumption of marginal costing next statement says volume is the only factor which influences the cost right so here as we uh, is in marginal costing we uh, consider only variable cost 
so volume affects the variable cost right if volume changes variable cost changes so this statement is also the as one of the assumptions of marginal costing that volume is the only factor which influences the cost so here option d is the right answer because all these three statements are assumptions of marginal costing that all cost are uh, costs are divisible into fixed cost and variable cost selling price and variable cost per unit will remain the same and volume is the only factor which influences the cost all the statements are assumptions so here option d is the right answer all of them next sentence says there is a dashed relationship between variable cost and revenues so options are inverse linear negative general see students question is tricky one there is dashed relationship between variable cost and uh, revenue sales let us understand that variable cost and revenues so see when revenue increases it increases when we increases the amount of sales and it can be increased only by increasing the volume and if we want to increase the volume then uh, variable cost can go up it means if variable cost increases revenue increases and if variable cost decreases revenue also decreases because see variable cost includes the cost of direct material it varies as per the volume of production right if volume of production is less variable cost will be less and uh, revenues will also be less and if variable costs are more revenue will be more right so here uh, there is a linear relationship between variable cost and revenues it means there is a direct relationship right so here option b is the right answer see inverse means uh, when variable cost decreases revenue increases it is not like that right because variable cost changes as per the volume of production so here option b is the right answer linear relationship next question says dash is also known as gross margin or uh, marginal income so options are variable cost marginal cost contribution or fixed cost also known as gross margin or marginal income so here we know that contribution is also known as uh, gross margin or marginal income so here option c is the right answer right contribution ko hi hum gross margin or marginal income kehte next question says sales minus variable cost is equal to fixed cost plus profit or loss is known as basic dash cost equation so options are basic total cost equation additional cost equation marginal cost or fixed see student this is sales minus variable cost is equal to fixed cost plus profit is basically basic marginal costing equation so here option c is the right answer we have discussed about this equation at the beginning of the uh, video here right so this equation sales minus variable cost uh, is equal to fixed cost plus profit or fixed cost minus loss if there is loss it is subtracted so it is basic marginal cost equation right next sentence is that states the relationship between contribution and sales so see students it asks about relationship between contribution and sales so we know that in pv ratio we use contribution and sales that pv ratios formula is that like contribution divided by sales into 100 so here option c is the right answer right next question says sales over and above the break even point are known as so sales over and above break even points so break even point ke upar ki jo sales hote hai use kya kehte hain margin of safety so here option a is the right answer c student this question is direct question basically we know that break even point is the point where there is no profit no loss uske upar jitne bhi sales honge it means uh, actual sales or break even sales this major difference is we have margin of safety kehte right so here option a is the right answer next question says what is the volume of sales at which there is neither profit nor loss so this question is related to the previous question that what is the volume of sales the volume of sales at which there is neither profit nor loss is a dp basically that is break even point so here option b is the right answer 
next question says if the margin of safety is dash it is the sign of soundness of the business so see if margin of safety is low it is weakness of the business so obviously if margin of safety is large b is the related point it is the soundness of the business so here option b is the right answer next question says if fixed expenses of rupees 3 lakh 60 with sales of rupees 12 lakh and profit of rupees 240 of company calculate the amount of contribution here we have to calculate the amount of contribution and we know students there are two formulas for contribution first one is sales minus variable cost so in this question the information about variable cost is not given not given so now let us use another formula that is contribution is equal to fixed cost plus profit so here fixed cost is given 3 lakh 60 thousand and profit is rupees 2 lakh 40 thousand so contribution is equal to fixed cost plus profit that is 3 lakh 60 thousand plus 2 lakh 40 thousand so 3 lakh plus 2 lakh 5 lakh and this here so 6 lakh is the answer and now find the option so here option c is the right answer with 6 lakh rupees as an option so this is basically question based on the simple calculation next question says calculate bp profit volume ratio calculate bp if pv ratio is 50 percent here pv ratio is given and fixed cost is rupees 3 lakh 20 thousand so we know students if uh, pv ratio is given uh, we use formula bp is equal to fixed cost divided by pv ratio okay so fixed cost is 3 lakh 20 thousand divided by 50 percent so it is basically 0.5 so here answer is uh 6 lakh 40 thousand right because uh, we have to divide 3 lakh 20 thousand by 50 percent 50 percent means 50 uh, divided by 100 okay so it becomes 6 lakh 40 thousand so here answer c is the right option see this question is also based on the calculation here you have to use the formula of bp next question says marginal cost is the dash cost of producing additional unit so options are fixed investing revenue or additional so we know that marginal costing cost is the additional cost so here option d is the right answer right student so students uh, here uh, we have to stop now we will discuss remaining uh, questions on marginal costing in our next video. Uh, till then, like the video and share it with your friend and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.